This is the Phoenix PD32R, an EDC light designed for police officers, security, first responders, professionals. And we're going to see if this professional EDC light has the features you might be interested in on this episode. Let's start by unboxing this thing, but don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with tedious unpacking footage. Instead, let's take a look at what you get in the box. This is the Phoenix PD32R. This is a rechargeable tactical light. It's made of aircraft grade aluminum and it is approximately five and a half inches or a little bit over five and a half inches long and just about an inch in overall diameter. It has a removable and reversible belt clip here and it is powered by a single 18650 battery. You have to remove this little paper tab which is in there to prevent accidental uh, um, a accidental drain of the battery during a shipping, but it is comes with a 3400 uh, milliamp hour battery from Phoenix, and this is a standard 18650 battery. And it is rechargeable without having to take out the battery from the unit. It's one of the unique new features of uh, this flashlight. It's got a little hidden charging port. You turn the you turn the bell, or at least the, the little handle, or sorry, the, the, the bottom of the bell here, and it reveals a USB-C socket, and you just close that up, and it does have a little O-ring there. And this is um, braided at uh, a IPX68 waterproof rating, so it is fully submersible. And we'll, we'll test that out a little bit later. But it is uh, looks like a really nice flashlight here, and it did come with a charge. It has a tail clicky, and um, it has little holes or loops for a, a lanyard on either side, but it is not, uh, you cannot tail stand uh, this unit. And it is a clicky, but if you could hear or not hear, it's got a silent click. So that's good for you uh, law enforcement or tactical types who don't want to give away your position. Uh, by hearing the click click that you would normally hear with the uh, tactical lights. So that is a nice little feature. But overall, it is a nice looking unit, and I got a chance to see this for the first time over at SHOT Show earlier this year. So we're going to test this out and see if it really does output. It's uh, stated 1400 lumens on turbo mode. And we're, uh, well, it has a rated 70 hour runtime, but I don't think we're gonna fully test that puppy out, but we're going to start by charging this up and then we'll start with some tests. Before we get into the tests, I'd like to take a quick break here and talk about this episode's sponsor, Aura. You've seen the news with those massive security breaches at those big companies that have compromised mine and probably your data. And that's why it's important to have personal digital security. And that's why I use Aura. For the price of a typical VPN, I'm not only getting VPN service, but I'm getting spam blockers, junk mail blockers. In fact, they're removing my name from those damn broker lists. And they offer a comprehensive suite of services, including fraud alerts, scam alerts, and credit monitoring. Try it out yourself for free. Go to Aura.com slash Moondog and sign up for a 14-day free trial. No commitments. And you're helping support this channel. You know, identity fraud is a real thing. And with AI, it's all too easy to spoof your identity. That's why you should try out Aura. All right, let's get back to the tests. I recharged the flashlight and let it run for at least 30 seconds to warm up the battery. Now it's in turbo mode and that automatically starts stepping down the output to keep the unit from overheating. And it's already dropped from 530, so let's just call it 520 here. And based on my calculations, after calibrating it to a known 100 lumen lamp, I was getting about 1300 lumens, which is pretty darn close to the 1400 they claim, and well within the margin of error for my testing rig. Let's take a look at its beam output, low, medium, high, turbo. The beam has about a three foot hotspot, but it's so bright, it just blows out all the details. This would certainly be painful and disabling to somebody on the receiving end. 
Phoenix claims that the flashlight has a maximum throw of 344 meters in turbo mode, and based on how brightly it illuminates this telephone pole, I can believe that claim. I recharged the unit and we're going to test out its runtime along with how waterproof it is. It is IPX68 rated, which means you can submerge it in two meters of water for up to an hour. I don't have a two meter pool, so we're going to just put it into this water pitcher. I'm going to set it into turbo mode and it's supposed to have a two hour and 20 minute runtime in turbo and we're going to see how long it can last. But don't worry, you're not going to have to sit here for two hours. I'm going to start the timer and we're going to do a time lapse. It starts in turbo mode, but it automatically dims itself so it doesn't overheat. All right, I'm going to have to stop the test here at two hours and a little over 58 minutes. It was just getting a little too dark outside to continue filming after sunset. You wouldn't be able to see the timer for one thing. But looking at the timer, almost exactly three hours underwater and this flashlight still had juice left to run. Industry standard product drop tests are done from one meter or three feet. I'm going to drop it from six feet up onto rocks and dirt twice, and we're going to see if it still functions. Yes, it does. So it passed my drop test. So I'd like to thank Phoenix for sending out the PD-32R for me to test and evaluate. Now I'm not in law enforcement, the military, or a first responder, but as an everyday consumer, I do appreciate all the features that go into this professional model of EDC tack light here. Now it just looks like every other tack light I've ever owned, which uh, you know isn't necessarily a bad thing. It is super bright at 1400 lumens, so that is way more powerful than any of the older tack lights that I've that I've owned, and it has a 300 meter throw, which is very far for something this small. It looks, it's shaped just like every other tack light I've, I've owned, literally. Uh, but that's a good thing because now it fits into the same holster sheath that I have for my other ones. I don't have to buy a new one. And it has the same ergonomics. I'm used to, you know, having a tail clicky on here. And speaking of memory, um, and muscle memory, it has mode memory, of course, so that's always a good feature. Plus, it does have a strobe mode, but it's kind of hidden. You have to mash down on the button, keep it pressed, to go into strobe mode. You can't accidentally go into strobe mode uh, when you're cycling through the different brightness modes. So that's a plus. But I know for some of you out there, having a strobe mode at all is a deal breaker. And there's no way to lock out the strobe mode. It would have been nice if Phoenix had a way to, to, to uh, manually lock this out or, or, you know, by clicking it like 10 times in a row. It, it disables the strobe mode. Uh, or, even better yet, instead of strobe, it would go into turbo mode when you, you do the stress smash down. Um, let me know in the comments if you think Phoenix should incorporate something like that, or if that's something you're interested in. Uh, and let me know in the comments if uh, you like strobe, or if your training and operational doctrine excludes strobe entirely. I'd like to know uh, wh why that is. Uh, but if you are interested in picking up this very bright tack light, I've included product links as well as more information in my full write-up at moondockindustries.com. Use the links in that article and it helps support this channel. And of course, you can help support this channel by simply hitting the like button. You're watching the video still at this point, so that probably means you like this video. And hey, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, again, it just takes a second. It's absolutely free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So I appreciate you taking the time to do that and taking the time to watch this video. You be safe out there. Moondog, out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to MoondogIndustries.com.